Hello and welcome to the Cobb Bros Podcast. I am David and I'm joined by my friends and co-host Cyrus. That's me. That's me. Wait. <laughs> Conflict. Hold up. Conflict. Barn door. <laughs> That's me. And Colton. Who That's am I? me. Colt. Wait. Col- Conflict. <laughs> Conflict. <laughs> Colton. Well. And Oscar. Just to set the record straight, this is episode 26 of the Cobb Bros podcast. I messed up on the last intro and called it 24. Yeah, the intern. (laughs) The intern. (laughs) Yeah, that's the intern. I guess we're all all interns. interns. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's a messed up. We don't make money on this. All right. Well, have more merry. Late Christmas the t- to this those and happy will holidays. Be happy New Year. When this episode comes out, it'll be a Happy New Year. Yeah, the Happy New Year true. episode. It'll be this episode. What day is New Year's Eve? Friday, right? Uh, New Year's Eve is Friday, Friday, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah and Saturday's New Year's New Day. Year's yeah, Eve. absolutely. Yep. Last episode of the year. This is technically the last episode of this year. Yeah, that's this actually is the last episode of the year. This yeah. is all technically the uh, the half. Of to our first year anniversary. I'm gonna say it. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. He's gonna say See it. you guys next year. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Bye. So cringe. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Cow yep, Bros podcast. Um, yep. That's that's the end. Yeah. Of welcome it. to the final episode. <laughs> <laughs> this this will be last episode. We'll never be uh, we'll never be hearing from us again. Sorry, everybody. Due to personal reasons, I have chose to die this year. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. I took it. Anyways, what's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite gifts from this year? How about that? A fucking box of C's candies and some turkey jerky. Nice. Oh, yeah. And a snark. <laughs> a snark. Good shit. Yes. That's your good shit. Yeah, it's the Uh-oh. super tight snark. You can either do this one has a microphone, so if you if you can't do the vibration for whatever reason, you can do the air vibrations to tune it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good point. I got a and I, I can tune my own kit. voice. And he got just, a... to shine your shoes with. Yeah, I got I have these nice black boots that I shine my shoes with. You learned how to do that because of ROTC. Exactly, <laughs> like yep. the on fire. I wrote these nice <laughs> shoes that I shine my boots with. Complete confession mm-hmm. about ROTC. I shined my shoes maybe ten times the entire time I was in ROTC because every week, if it was the same person inspecting me, they'd be like, "You gotta shine your shoes," and I was like, "Okay." And then right before class, I just rub my jacket on them, and then they're like, <laughs> "Shoes look nice this week, Smith," and I was like, "You're fucking stupid." <laughs> and like, I'm not shining these for shit. I'm just call- I'm just wiping them off before class. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good stuff. The kids with and the like quick, day, one uh, the quick shine that would pass them around. Yeah, yeah, the quick shine. And days when I had to walk to school through the fucking snow and shit, I'd get there with mud and shit all over my shoes, and they're like, why are your shoes all dirty? And it's like, well, because I walked through the fucking mud to get here, and you don't want me to use quick shine, so I have dirty shoes. Do, do something about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear my uniform when I got to walk to school. There's no, Especially if you had it, like I had it, bright and early in the morning senior year. Yeah. 8.36, I got to traipse down the hallways just to go report to RO. Hi, company. Me. My shoes are fine. What about you, Colton? There you go. Uh, I didn't really get a whole lot of presents. I got a lot of money from my mom, though. Fair enough. That's good. Damn, bro, like 10 bucks? Yeah, boy. That's, that's like up, almost man? a Carl's Jr. combo. Yeah, to be fair, we didn't really like shop for Christmas or anything like that this year. Yeah. Yeah, I, would, I didn't point. either. I wanted to keep money in my bank account after I got that back pay bonus. Yeah. So that once I pay rent this month, I actually have money in my bank account. <laughs> I just got everybody a little something, including the podcast yeah, love, people, love which the, we can't. Love the can't, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and the beer. Yeah, the jerseys on the way. And the beer. And yeah, Cyrus, Cyrus got me a four pack of this beer called Breaking Bud, and it looked like the Breaking <laughs> Bad logo with like this dude with hops as a head. Nice. And it was like this super hoppy, made with like six different kinds of hops. I think it said. Good shit. But I drank all but one of them last night, so I want to keep one of them because they're fucking cool. Easy as hell. 
and put that bitch on the shelf. You're gonna be like, what's breaking, yes, bud? Is I'm... that weed beer? <laughs> I'm calling the beer. <laughs> Daisy, can you look at that right there? I don't know. David, what'd you get? Uh, what's something that you looked for to? My sister got me a candle from this company called the Candle Daddy. And the <laughs> flavor is banana nut bread and hazelnut <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> and it's the called banana. Flavor for these nuts. The, 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 the flavor of the candle? The scent. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, David, did you just accidentally admit to something? Like, yes, I eat, eat wax. Candles? Leave me alone. <laughs> Who needs gravy when you can just drizzle your candle over your mouth? <laughs> Fair enough. Nice hard candy. Dip your peppermint. Good stuff. Uh, my mother also bought me, you know, those comically large tubes that are filled with things? Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, let's see. It is a eight and a half ounce tube of toxic waste candy. Oh, oh God! My there's a there's God. a lot of them in here. Oh my! I dare God. you to eat it in a week and then never taste anything for the rest of next year. I'll eat them all in a night. Let's box them all on the <laughs> next week's podcast. <laughs> Sarge just pops them all. What's that's the that's that's the next podcast. We just spend the whole night eating the black cherry once for yeah. the first <laughs> hour. <laughs> so if I were to eat all of these, it would be 770 calories and 144 grams of sugar. The Holy sugar is really the unhealthy part. Not the, if you just that, think about the calories, that's okay. That's a good sugar thing. Sugar is healthy. Let's do a couple Natural jumping jacks and right. burn those off before you go to bed. Yeah, just go run it around the block and die of five heart attacks on the way. <laughs> Your no body's deal. trying to pump like 10 pounds of fucking molasses through it. <laughs> <laughs> just clear your system up with some gamer subs. Yeah, gamer subs. I haven't had a tub of gamer subs in a minute. I'm just tired of washing my cup. Yeah, I just ordered some <laughs> yeah. flavors just to try them out. Yeah, that's how lazy I am. Yeah, I uh, felt that though. It sat under my desk for like a week. Mm -hmm. I don't know, watched a bunch of Christmas movies. I watched Eight Crazy Nights for the first time in a long time. Uh, it is it is still a terrible movie, but it, <laughs> well, it's nostalgic for me because I watched it a lot as a kid. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I love that sense. movie. Christmas Vacation is my favorite holiday movie. I watched that last one night, last night too. Yeah, Sierra so said you didn't like it, and I was like, oh. Probably because the cat fried. I mean, no, she said she didn't like the uh, the scene when the Clark had, is somewhere at the mall with the fucking mm -hmm. hot chick. She was like, I didn't like that scene. It made me uncomfortable, and I was like, yeah, Fair that's enough. hilarious. <laughs> I was like, you gotta remember the film was made in 1989, but in today's standards, yeah, that was just a creepy. Scene. The movie is, is that. <laughs> Clark isn't the best person. That's why yeah, the, he the, whole, the whole premise of the National was Lampoon Mary movies X. is just it is just that Clark is a fucking asshole. It's a, it's a National Lampoon movie. It's like watching Animal House and being upset with the main character. <laughs> yeah, you just have to yeah. watch that movie knowing that Clark is an asshole and he's going to piss everybody off and then at the end he's going to learn a bit of moral points and forget about it in the next movie. <laughs> Dad, did you bring the shovel? <laughs> it's actually, it's just Chevy Chase's autobiography. Honestly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful movie. Um, it's fucking brilliant. Shitter's full. <laughs> no, the scene I'm Merry referencing Christmas. is when the cat's chewing on the cord and he plugs the tree back in and the cat explodes into the chair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he just pulls it back and it's burnt into the carpet. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> and then his, uh, his brother, is, it's his brother-in-law, right? Or is it his actual Eddie? brother? Eddie, yeah, yeah. Eddie. When he's all like, yeah, Eddie. I could use Cousin. this. I'm gonna get it reupholstered. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could re. If you're just gonna throw this out, you mind if I have it? I could reupholster this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Her eyes aren't crossed anymore. Yeah, ain't that something? She see, falls down a well. Eyes go across. Get kicked <laughs> by a mule, they go back to normal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The movie's ridiculous. The, the fucking sledding scene. <laughs> Just three, <laughs> hang ten, let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie. It is so stupidly funny. Yeah. It has no and every, being that funny. And every time I watch it, I understand more of the jokes, and it just keeps getting fucking funnier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watched it for the first time like ten or something years ago. Fa la 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 la. Take it, Russ. Fa la 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 la. I did the exact same thing with uh, with Clark. <laughs> I 
I fucking love that movie. Terrific. Any other Christmas movies anybody watched or, or yeah, a big yeah, fan? Yeah, what are y'all's favorite Christmas movies? The Christmas Story right. was good. That's a great one. I always I... watch Home Alone, Die Hard, Daisy. and Nightmare Before Christmas. Fair enough. Yep, those are all good. I remember, yeah, Home Alone and Home Alone 2 are fucking amazing Christmas movies. Yep. Absolutely. Which one did you say here? You. And what'd you Jump go with, Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mummy's Christmas Carol. That's the other one that we always watch. That Christmas one's pretty Carol. funny. Uh, man, I love I'm the Muppets. Think of a Christmas movie that's a go-to. The Muppets Christmas is excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say Chris, Christmas Vacation or um, fuck it, Crazy Nights. Watch it, Crazy Nights. It's so stupid because like I I watched it and it has aged terribly, but it's still funny to me. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. And I still know the words to all the songs, which was really sad. <laughs> all of the, uh, like, all of those, like, classic Christmas movies, like the Charlie Brown special and then the Santa Claus has come into town, like, all those claymation ones. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, with the, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Island of Misfits Toys ones, and all that one. Like, yeah. I fucking, I love those old Christmas movies. They're just like, so- they have the special nostalgia place in my heart. On a tangent, there's that Easter one with the Easter Bunny, and I don't remember anything about it because I had it on a VH tape as a kid, but I remember it being just as good as all the other claymation specials. I never saw an Easter one, huh? There's That's an crazy. Easter one, I swear. I, I don't remember what it's called, but it was made by the same companies. So it's the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. Mm-hmm. I had it on a VHS tape, and it just disappeared one year, and I couldn't find it. Oh, VHS. Mr. Parents probably... Christmas. I'm high on crack. Oh, Christmas movies. Uh, Jim Carrey's The Grinch. That movie is hilarious. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The Grinch. That, yeah. that yes. is in my top three, too. The Grinch. Yep. Yes. The Grinch. That is... Jim Carrey is fantastic. <laughs> when he's just going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's one of my favorite memes where it's like, don't rile the do- don't wind the dog up. Also yeah. me. <laughs> 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 that one's really good. Oh, the one. What's the one line? Um. Fucking, uh, uh, 1 p.m. wallow in self pity, 4 30 stare into the abyss, 5 p.m. solve world hunger, tell no one, 5 p.m. <laughs> Jazzercise! Jazzercise! 6 30 dinner with myself, I can't cancel that again! <laughs> 7 30 <laughs> wrestle with my self loathing, yeah. <laughs> Fucking just Jazzercise! Jazzercise! <laughs> Oh, Solve always. world's hunger. Tell no one. <laughs> <laughs> tell no one. Hmm. No oh, one needs uh, to know it's been solved. Elf. Elf is one that I always love. <laughs> <laughs> We're singing. <laughs> I'm in a store and I'm singing. Hey, there's no singing in the North Pole. Yes, there is. We sing all the time when we build toys. <laughs> 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 Will fail fan or not, he just puts on such he he brings out his inner child so well in that movie, and he's just fucking. He, you, you think he's a fucking elf? Like he's fucking played it perfectly. He is an elf. What are you talking he's about? He's just so goofy in that movie. <laughs> that movie and Talladega Nights are my two favorite Will Ferrell movies. Tangenting off of Christmas yeah. to Will Ferrell, but yeah, Talladega Nights. I, is I watched Daddy's Home too recently. And I only <laughs> remembered one thing about the movie, and it's because I say it all the time, and it's when John Cena is leaving the movie theater again, and Will Ferrell starts <laughs> singing that Band-Aid song. And John Cena turns around, damn, it's my favorite song of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and the most dead serious John Cena face he could make. Of course. That guy's oh, a, a surprisingly damn good actor, actually. I, I really He's enjoy him. Well, yeah. I mean, the WWE is what? Yeah, like, 100%, if you spend 10 years in the WWE, yeah. you're going to learn some kind of acting. For sure, I yeah. guess. He picked up on something. It's kind of like Batista. Like, everyone was shocked when Batista yeah. was such an actor. And it's like, do you know how much of a dickhead he is when he wrestles? He's just he's a total heel. That's his character. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if you remember one of his last matches. or Just after one of his last matches when he ended up quitting the WWE when they wrote him out. Was him in a neck brace sitting in a wheelchair just screaming, I quit! I quit! And everybody's just <laughs> laughing at him and applauding him as he rolls out in his wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you put someone in a neck brace and you're gonna let them just sit there screaming. <laughs> I quit! 
<laughs> possible neck injury. Sir, you need to stop that. You're going to break your own. I quit. I quit. <laughs> Undertaker fucking just go. He came up through the ring and dragged somebody under it. And they're like, oh, no. He dragged him to hell. And as a kid, I'm like, dude, he's in hell now, bro. That's crazy. Dude, they just fucking killed him on live TV. <laughs> wild. They had buried alive matches where you would win the match only if you threw somebody in a casket and buried them alive. Yep. Real shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There oh, were a, there's only been a couple of actual deaths during a match in WWE, right? I yeah, I think Owen there was... Hart was the last big one when he um, yeah, the... I forget which pay per view event, but in I think it was like ninety eight or ninety nine, he fucking fell. Yeah, I was about from... to say that the one that where the dude fell from the rafters because he was supposed to like dive onto the stage and then his fucking harness broke and he just fucking yeah. splatted onto the fucking stage. Uh, he hit the oh. turnbuckle on the way down. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah, it broke just fucked the harness or whatever the gimbal and shit. Yeah, yeah. If, if he you would have just fucking just, fell from the ceiling of the stadium, if he would have just landed in the ring like and not hit, he would have been, been, been fine. It would have been like a trampoline. <laughs> oh, he would no, he would got fucked up because it was still like a thirty foot fall, but it wouldn't have been as bad because he when he fell he it hit the turnbuckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the the ring itself is spring loaded. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little trampoline. Yeah, very. So as long as he didn't body slam on each other, he would have just bounced and broke something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that one was a big one because it was Bret Hart's brother. Yeah. And then Rey Mysterio went. It wasn't WWE, but I remember Rey Mysterio killed the guy in the Mexican League. He went up yeah. to uh, put him in a six one nine, and when he kicked him in the back to put him on the rope, he uh, kicked him a little bit too hard and uh, broke his spine. Oh my god! And the doctor doctor said he died almost instantly. Because Rey oh, came around, crazy. And he put his feet on the ropes to kick him in the face, and he wasn't moving, and he was like, uh oh. And the ref was like, uh oh. Because oh the ref like, and the wrestler, they have a lot of, of communication. Yeah. They where, know what's uh, going to happen. They give yeah. Them, yeah, they give them cues and shit like that to let them know that they're all right. So when he got thrown into the ropes, the ref's looking over at him, and this dude isn't moving. So, of course, the ref steps in and goes, no, -uh, he's not. He's not fine. Yeah. Jeez. The only time you can tell when something is serious is when they bring out an actual ambulance and the ref is like constantly checking on them. Yeah. Or when you see the. Bone snap. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> like a basketball game when the bone popped out of the fucking shit, and that's how you know it's bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Couple bad UFC ones, too. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, <laughs> let's Happy New Year's now. Oh, yeah, Happy New Year's. So, uh, resolutions. Uh, we could, yeah. Let's do silly resolutions, okay? Uh, make up a resolution that just sounds dumb. I will Go. only give myself an airstrip for now, from now on. Airstrip? Yeah, when I shave. That's a landing okay. strip. Oh, I was about to damn say. it. <laughs> I was going to be funny, but I fucked it up again. Uh, it's good. So well, you, 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 you got the good idea, though. I was dumb. Yep. I, my, Chris, my New Year's resolution is to not try heroin. Oh, that is good. very good, Brandon. I'm I think so I could not hold that one. Yeah. I, you <laughs> might be able to get it. You make a million dollars. <laughs> Homie's going to get fucking hooked on a Wonder Woman, and it's going to be all over. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman I'm, I'm and gonna, I'm gonna meet fucking Jade from Breaking Bad, and it's just gonna be downhill for me. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, mine has to be less no judgmental uh, towards people that like salami on their pizzas. Cause, like, you don't like salami pepperoni. on pizza? No, I mean just salami. Okay, yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm gonna be less judgmental. I won't judge him as hard. Like, I'm gonna judge him like a quarter of how hard I used to. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. What I about a pizza yeah. that's made salami, entirely have to out right. of salami? <laughs> just no salami. Or anything. That's just like the I, yeah, that's just, salami. That's just salami. You mean, you mean just biting into a fucking you mean bowl a of salami board? like I do? <laughs> 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 like <laughs> just a wheel of salami. What other Italian Jesus. meats are on there? Is it only fucking salami or right. you got no salami, so bro? Salami. <laughs> With cheese pepperoni and marinara and, and and pepperoni and Canadian bacon oh. and pancetta. Um, can can we put some pancetta? Pancetta on there? cheese. Put some banana peppers on there. Pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis. Yeah, it's it's they're called pepper. It's pronounced pepperoncini, but I if you know. look at the word, it says pepperoncini. Mozzarella. Sorry, I always say pepperoncini. <laughs> and to guac like establishmentary guacanism. Excuse I'm me? the one that's 3% fluent in Italian. I can pronounce the Italian words. A bibbidi boppy? 
A boobity boopy. Bellena. A boobity boopy boppy. Tu manji mm -hmm. bellena. I've got you know what that means? a hard guac. Do you know what tu manji bellena means? In no. Italian? Eat dick. It means, it means you eat whale. I was about to say, eat something. It's the same <laughs> yes, in French. You eat whale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Belena is whale. I don't know why that's one of the words that fucking just ingrained itself in my brain. Is that the word <laughs> that like men use when they see hot women? They go, beluga. <laughs> right? <laughs> <Beluga>. <laughs> They were just on the ship with an Italian guy. like, oh, Belen. I was like, no, a beluga, huh? I guess that's what we call that one. Oh, <laughs> we like, oh, no, no, Belen. That's how you say it. You're the American. Stupid American. Stupid American. On Christmas Eve, my laboratory. I worked for about like half hour, 45 minutes. And half of that was all the second sort as you're standing around talking. And I learned that a lot of people, because it was... <sighs> Of all the people there, I think there was like 10 of us, me and one mm -hmm. of the managers, and I think maybe only one other or two other of the package handlers are actual, like, white people. The rest of them are like, there's... Well, white people? <laughs> I, well, well I, was just, I was just saying that because I was going on to this, because uh, <laughs> we were talking about what we were doing for Christmas, and that some pe someone mm -hmm. said that a lot of people are probably going to go see movies or whatever. And this one guy, he's like a Latino guy. He was like, "What? This movie theater is open on Christmas?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's oh. actually it's it, yeah, it's a real common thing for movies to come out on Christmas and for people to go see a movie on Christmas morning after they open their presents." And he was like, "What? I've never heard of that." And then another person goes, "It's a white person thing." And I was like, "Yeah, it's a white person thing." <laughs> yeah, it's a Caucasian thing. Sorry, it's not a Caucasian <laughs> thing. It is a American white people thing. <laughs> the seeing movies on Christmas Eve, never or been Christmas Day. to the theater. Never, never mind. yeah. I saw Miles, I've never seen I saw Miles Morales on, on uh, Christmas. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. This is, this is the only movie I've ever seen on Christmas. You mean Christmas. Into the Spider-Verse? Saw the Into the Spider-Verse. I saw it on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, like you'll be watching some, like Iron Man 3. You'll be like, why is this all Christmas themed? And then someone yeah. goes, well, this movie came out on Christmas the year it came out. He's like, oh, that's why it's all Christmas. Because uh, movies come out on Christmas, and the people specifically plan the movie to come out on Christmas and make it all. Iron Man 3 is technically a Christmas movie, if you think about it. Yes, it is. <laughs> What's you guys' favorite Marvel movie? Oh. Like MCU or Marvel in general? Uh, let's go with the MCU. Well, I would the have MCU... to go with the most current Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, fair I haven't enough. seen that yet, but from what I've heard, the newest Spider-Man is fucking just fire. Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, I need to see it. I want to say Infinity War, because when it came out, it was just, it was so spectacular yeah. to watch everything yeah, come together came... at once. It was mm -hmm. the first movie to do that. Yeah, because I, 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 I remember when me and Sadie went and saw Infinity War, I had seen Thor Ragnarok, and I think two, none, neither of the Avengers movies before it. But, like, I think Iron Man and um, uh, Captain America Civil War, whatever ones mm -hmm. were on Netflix, when that movie came out, when Infinity War came out, me and Sadie went and saw it. I was expecting a cool superhero movie. We walked out of the fucking movie theater, and we were just fucking speechless. Like, not being speechless, like, we didn't want to spoil it for the people coming in and shit, but we literally <laughs> walked out of the thing silent, and then we got to the car, and we were like... I want to fucking cry. What was that? <laughs> like that wasn't a good ending. That was everything. No. That was just it was just bad. The bad guy won. What? I I actually so cried. And I mean that was a powerful movie. Spider Man. I told you. So in the newest Spider Man, the, like if you guys saw Endgame in theaters with how uh, like quiet the theater got at the end of the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it a spoiler at this point? I think everybody knows for that end game, right? For end game, it's been three no. years. End if you haven't watched it, end game's no end game. Yeah. It's spoiler territory now because it's been out for over two years. That's my. It's book. been out for over. Yeah, it's been out. My book years, is but, once um, once the movie comes out for like available to buy for your own, and it's not only in theaters anymore, then it's free to spoil. If it's out for like half a year, you haven't watched it. Come on. Um, yeah. If you really wanted to know, you'd know. Yeah, at that but point. But when Iron Man, so I ended up seeing it, the opening show because my buddy bought tickets. He, he buys like six tickets at a time and goes, I have too many tickets. Do you want one? I ended yeah. up taking Oscar to the mm -hmm. premiere and it got so dead silent and you could just hear people crying when Iron Man died. It, it was fu it was so fucking sad. And I had yeah. to 
watch it in two days again with my parents because they had no idea it was at the premiere. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because they really wanted me to go see the movie with them and shit like that. But when I got tickets to the premiere, I'm not passing those up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they know that I went night. to They still don't know I went to the premiere. Like, yeah, seeing so. a movie is really good, but Don't when listen. you're seeing it with, like, an audience of people mm-hmm. that love it, and the crowd's reacting the same way that you are, it's totally fucking different. Like, so, it makes it makes the movie so much, like, more special. Yeah, the new Spider-Man had, like, four of those moments in the movie where it was just so silent because people were just, like, gonna cry. Damn. Yeah. It, it, was, it was incredibly sad. Yeah, I from, like, the mid to end of the movie. Can. It's, it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I don't even want to talk about it because I think the whole movie yeah, should I, just I don't be want, I don't want to talk about yeah. it either because I'm like, if I hear the slightest detail, even if it's not a spoiler, I'm like, no, no, I know. <laughs> like I told people, I was just texting people. I'm like, dude, SpongeBob kills Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite one. The taco beats the grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, the taco beats a grilled cheese? Yeah, no, I agree. Taco beats the grilled cheese. It's from uh, Super Bad or something. Well, I agree with the statement. Taco beats a grilled cheese. Grilled Um, cheese is fucking A1, though. But it's associated with tomato soup. And I don't associate with that at all. You don't like tomato soup? Do you like a tomato bisque? I like tomato soup, but I hate Mm. tomatoes. I don't know if we'd be friends. I hate tomatoes, and I've... I've never had... Oh, it's because you like tomatoes. Yeah, I hate tomatoes. Okay. So tomato soup and stuff like that, I fucking hate it. Tomato soup doesn't taste anything like tomatoes to me. It tastes to, closer to tomato. Bisque to me, like when nice, I was younger, salty. it's just like whatever Dip. taste I had. Yeah, I'd imagine it'd be more. I'd, it has a fancy name. I'd imagine it tastes more like a marinara or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like know. Marinara. It's like salty. Could, and it's got spice in it. I could fucking dip chips in marinara sauce all day long. Like okay. tomatoes, I'm fine like that. But it's just it's tomatoes spaghetti? have to be. Per- so, oh, yeah, okay, like if, okay. if, if if tomatoes are cooked, like I'll eat fried green tomatoes and like fried tomatoes because they're fucking good. But the raw ones with the fucking slimy goddamn cartilage shit that's all about it and the stupid <laughs> anatomy that makes it up, it's fucking disgusting. And I hate everything about it. Like, you know what I mean? The, like the very center of the tomato where it's all just like fucking watery and shit. Yeah. Mm. I, hate it. I fucking hate it. It's You can't go from something apple texture to that. God, I can call eat... it a good fruit. Like, it's so You've been my bad. mind. I was about to tell you, I could probably eat a tomato like a hand fruit. I have no problem with it. I could eat an onion like that. Like, not uh, any onion. Red, red onions. Okay. Like, a sweet red onion. Yeah. Those, yeah. They're fucking sweet. It's like a spicy apple. Like, honestly, your breath will smell like dog shit afterwards, and you shouldn't do it for that reason, but it tastes good. <laughs> like, no. red, red onions are good. Of course. Uh, what else could I eat, like, as a whole fruit? Like... I, th- pretty much the only fruit I don't like is probably a grapefruit because I think it's really bitter. Like, it just tastes better to me. I think they're just way too, like... I think they're with the sourness that they are because of the citrus. I get what you mean. Yeah, it's like sour and that bitter flavor. It's, it's not, not even sour. It's, it tastes it's not, bitter to me. Well, it's not sour, but it has, like, that kind of acidity to it. Like, mm-hmm. because it's a citrus. And that with a bitterness doesn't go good in my brain. It's like sour chocolate. Dude. Like sour yeah. dark chocolate. It would be bad. Yeah. Sour dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> so good and tasty. Mm. Ah. Oh. Off on a different tangent, just because I remembered. <laughs> the other day I found a picture that has all the skulls circled in infinite. If you guys want me to send that to the group chat, just so you have a reference to where all the Absolutely. skulls is. Yeah, probably good. <laughs> and it's like numbered one to however many there are. And, like, one and two are the first couple missions where they're mission-based ones, and you can kind of tell where the outside world ones are. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. I'll send that to the group chat. Holy smokes, dog. Thank you, bro. Kind of better than sitting there at a fucking tutorial. You can just go and do your own shit and be like, oh, there's a school near here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mate, me. Mate, dude. Now that I have beat it, I think I am going to... Excuse me. I think I am going to go back and replay it on a different difficulty. I'm so close to the end. <laughs> so. Dude, I beat it, and then I tried to go back on normal just to, like, get skulls and shit. And I'm just like, I don't even want to fucking touch Legendary until I have co-op again going back through it. Just because it was such a good experience, I don't want to fucking experience it again, kind of. I can't I'm, wait. I want to see, uh, yeah, see, yeah, so see what they add. Yeah, I want to see what they fucking add. Yeah. 
I think the thing that interests me about co-op is, so is far just from how over. the open world's gonna work. Yeah, the story is so far from over, and so much of that world it is so far from being at its full potential yet. Yeah, absolutely. Like, just hope that they take their time. <sighs> Forge too, because uh, custom yep, game. Yep, Forge is coming out too. Yep. I, Halo reaching. Um, what game was it? Prop Hunt and Halo 3's Ghost uh, Ghost Hunters, Busters, Busters, Ghostbusters. Halo 3's Busters, Ghostbusters. Ghost. Yep. Bust that one I had <laughs> Ghostbusters. And mm -hmm. then when I found Prop Hunt on Reach, it's like fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure the Prop Hunt one was a modded file that I f found on Modio, but it like went through <coughs> all their detection shits because it was a custom game. Yeah. And it didn't boost anything in the game. It was just made you a prop, which you shouldn't have been able to do. Yeah. But fun shout out to the person that like put that? that on the 360. Yeah. Modding a game so that you have fun in custom games shouldn't even be an issue. Yeah, and like there, there were so many server, like so many applications for the 360 where you could just download shit like that. And it, remember my fucking the reason Cade is such good friends with Wyatt now is because I met Cade in a fucking. It's because I sent him a random message and I was like, "Hey, I have some mods for zombies if anybody wants to play." And any one of those people could have been a narc and fucking got me banned. But he was one of the people that joined, and now he's fucking, fucking, fucking up, Wyatt's bro. best friend. <laughs> I'm narked up. Control. Yeah, be a good. matchmaker. Yeah, you know, they've been together ever since. <laughs> <laughs> they still play the matchmaker. Matchmaker, Love that make boy. me a match. I feel like we should invite Cade to a, pod a podcast recording one day. Just pick his brain apart and go, how where have you been for seven years? <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> Holy shit. When I was talking to him for a bit when we were playing Tarkov together, like he would mention a couple things and I'd be like, the fuck are you talking about? He's like, you don't remember? And he'd explain it. I went, oh my fucking god, I do remember that stupid fucking joke with everybody. <laughs> like, it's been a goddamn long time. I think I met him when he was nine, right? Or something mm -hmm. like that. No, he was t between 9 and 12, something like that. I forget what it was, but he was a lot younger than us. I forget what rapper song it was, but it's the one where it's just lean back. He used to play his fucking R2 and Minecraft, and he would just roll by my screen and go, lean back and crouch, which would activate his rollers. Fucking ridiculous. It was funny. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Remember how mad he used to get about at me for fucking... Uh... Selling weed, quote unquote, in Minecraft. He's a good Christian, Utah boy. Come on. <laughs> like, I would just go and make the cactus die and be like, dude, it's weed. And then I'd turn sugar cane into sugar and be like, hey, bro, you want a bump? <laughs> 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 and like, yep. fucking why? And people would just give me the joke and give me some iron and give me diamonds and shit. He's like, why are you guys giving him this shit? You, are, you have dye and sugar. And we'd be like, nah, dude, it's a naggy nag. He got so nah. fucking mad. <laughs> You got the good sugar, dog. Fucking <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ, a long time ago. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah, fucking this June, right? It's 2022. Five years since we've graduated high school. Damn, don't say that. Damn. What? Don't say that. What? Uh, I just graduated college. Isn't it fucking crazy? What? Yes. High school was like the longest four years of my life. If, and then the yeah. last five years have been faster than one, year, one of those four years. I was about to say, it's like, because I feel like I've dissected it. It's because you spent so long looking forward to something that now that we have that thing that we're looking forward to, it just kind of passes. Because like, there's you no just, more waiting. You're looking forward to there's personal no more yearning. freedom, and then you get personal freedom, and you're like, shit, I have to pay taxes. <laughs> like, <laughs> and you, yeah. don't, you don't want to pay taxes. You don't look forward to paying taxes. I, I think every single American kid has that experience where they get their very first job for the first time and they know what their pay is and they calculate in their brain how much do they be so getting paid. And, and then, then they get, get that first very first pay. check and you look at it ha! and you see all the deductions for fucking Medicaid and fucking <laughs> all your fucking taxes and shit. Socialist themes. You, you lose a third of your fucking paycheck and you're like, wait, what is this? And it's like, oh, it's just taxes. You get back at the end of the year and you're like, I, I need to wait a year to get part of this. And they're like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this tax returns feel nice though every February. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, that's why I'm, taxes like I was saying year. earlier, I'm trying to fucking keep my bank account as high as I can, so that when I get the tax return, it'll just be another kind of boost like that. Cause I just want to fucking. That's my New Year's personal ahead. New Year's resolution: is to fucking keep myself ahead. That's it's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. When you pay rent and then you're down to ten dollars and you have to wait a week to fucking get paid, shit gets stressful. <laughs> like, <laughs> I believe it. It's fucking stressful. No, it's, 
and and saving is something we're not taught much anymore but it is a it's a very important life skill Absolutely, and that's what it yeah. is too it's a life skill that you should uh practice all the time whether it's Dude, 20 bucks right or checks. 20 cents nope nope i have a checkbook and i haven't used a single one i don't even have a I checkbook have, dude i have Maybe. two checks i have two bank i have two wells fargo and when i open them like just with the little starter stuff that redact, they, they yeah. get to well yeah redact that <laughs> no i will yeah cut that out at whatever time it was but i might add the two accounts i have i had to i got two checks both the times like it was like a the one that showed you what it was like just the kind that they give everybody with the thing mm -hmm. then two ones after that and they're still sitting in my closet somewhere it's like i have four checks that i could write but i don't have any reason to write a check in this day and age see we we actually still write checks yeah down here like unless i'm sending a check to somebody personally which i've never done that's about mm -hmm. the only reason I would write a check, Venmo. but we we pay our rent with checks. We pay our storage unit with checks. Um, I pay if my I... car off with a check. I actually don't know if my apartment complex takes checks. I think they take um either the online payment or like a, a money order or a uh, 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 cashier's check. Mine only takes cashier check. Wow, they don't take money orders? Is cashier's check they the might same as a personal order. check? Oh, okay. Like, could I was you, like, they could you hand them through the same? So, cashier's check... Because you were saying me... that you pay your rent with check. So. Yeah, so we, we hand them just a regular, like, handwritten check, not a cashier's check. Okay. Like, we, we write probably, our own Yeah, if I had in. a checkbook, I probably actually could do that, but I'm have, I have no reason to fucking go get a checkbook. So I'm going to use it once a month. I'm gonna fucking lose that bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> How about I step in his bitch? <laughs> and that's that's where our generational gap starts because we're on the the tail end of the yeah, writing Absolutely. checks and doing things by paper, and you guys are like all digital all the time. Oh yeah, all all my fucking childhoods, I remember like my mom would go to the grocery store, she wrote a check for the groceries. If she went and bought something else, she wrote a check for something like that. It wasn't as common to use your debit card or your credit card. You just wrote a check. Everybody yeah. had a checkbook. Everybody in my family told me, you have to learn how to balance your checkbook in reality. See, we don't do that. In balancing your checkbook in 2021 is logging onto your bank app and seeing what your statement is and being like, oh, that's where I spent my money. That's where I'm at. Like, you, don't, <laughs> you don't need to balance your checkbook anymore it. because it's all online now. Yep. yep. Yeah. It was a very important thing to do because you didn't know how much money you had. Yeah, back in the day when the internet wasn't a thing, it absolutely was an important way to keep track of your money. Because if not, you gotta go walk into a bank. How much money do I got? The, the generation that raised Tell our generation kind of didn't see that it wasn't an important thing. Then we went to school, and the most I ever was taught about <laughs> taxes or anything was my probability and statistics class, and it was like a two-week thing that she put in every year for the seniors because she was like, she her vela said they don't teach this shit. So I'm gonna, I found a way that I'm going to teach the probability and statistics or whatever through taxes mm -hmm. so you have kind of an idea of what your ta what taxes are when you're paying them next year. Because most of you will be I, I brought, working I just jobs. I that where somebody was like, Hervella was a terrible teacher. And I was like, no. She was so fucking amazing. She loved dude. me. She Why was she amazing. Because I did my homework. Because you, you, if you treated her with respect and didn't treat her like an asshole, she didn't act like a fucking dumb adult I was just, to like, yeah. trying to please the students. She was like, oh, you're going to treat me like an asshole? Do you need a tissue for your issue? Like, she would, motherfucker that she's giving her sass in she would always say that. If someone was giving her sass in class and they looked all sad, she'd be like, oh, do you sass need a tissue for class. your issue? Do you need to take a step outside? And she's like, fucking yeah. grow up, dude. Holy shit, you're a depressed teenager. We all she's are. She's from South Africa. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want a problem? And boo to the face. <laughs> it's a regional thing. And poo grows in Asia. <laughs> but... <laughs> What? We'll look past that fact. Shut up. <laughs> Eucalyptus! That's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> or California. Uh, what other, yeah, what other California had eucalyptus all over the place. Yeah, bro, come on. Give it the time, Brandon. Is it natural to California? I know it's a, like everywhere kind of now. Like how bamboo is, but I'm pretty sure it's actually pre California. It's a warm climate. They're, 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 yeah, they're, it is kind of one. There might be a variant of... Eucalyptus that grew there. I hate that I Vegas with think... palm trees and we don't. <laughs> right? It's so fucking weird. This exact same state, but they have such a different fucking desert that we do. The difference no between Reno and Vegas is that 
<laughs> it doesn't snow down there, but it gets yeah. fucking cold. Yep. The the desert. That's a any desert in the world, it'll just get balls cold in winter. No Remember what, last but... time we went to Vegas and we were talking on the ship and it was like 17 degrees outside in February? Yeah. That, was, that was miserable. That was actually really off. When we saw Green Day and I think it was April, I think, 2017 when we saw mm -hmm. them, it was like the perfect time to be in Vegas because when you were in the sun, if you stood in it for like 15 minutes, you're like, okay, this is too hot. But in the shadow of a building and when we were standing in line, it was like behind the MGN um, with the sun like we had we were in the shade the whole time and it was just nice and cool yeah. the, the, the heat from the buildings across the street was kind of like reflecting on us like a heater like, yeah this is perfect it's temperate we're cool and then we go to fucking Sacramento and we still outside the it's... golden one which is just a giant glass <laughs> palladium yeah we're just fucking <laughs> melting For like an egg on... we were the eggs on the sidewalk bro remember we were just stacking shit because we were just waiting in light just started stacking shit up and those dudes next to us that had ears were just looking over us so I was like what the yeah, fuck are they nice... doing that yeah we had the stacks and shit like that on my old phone I still have the drawing of me playing I spy and drawing that fucking stack <laughs> Remember that dude gave those guitar picks? Because he was like, yeah, we were down at the other thing in one of the roadies, gave me one of Johnny's picks as well. And guys, what? They all so we were like, yeah, yeah. give me half a dime. And then I was like, I should play bass. And he was like, do you know else you play bass? And then everyone was like, god damn it. And I just took that pick and pocketed it. And like, yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I have one that hangs on the wall. <laughs> Bitch. The only thing I remember was making frequent trips in and out of that mall. And it was under construction. I was construction. the only person that didn't go in there. I just stayed in line the whole time. I was because just chilling. Everybody else here's was just like, let's go get yeah. something else or so, another. So here's <laughs> what happened. kept telling the hot. stories on the inside. <laughs> yeah. So it was fucking, it was miserable hot outside. And we're like, do you think we should go to the mall? We kept like getting on the idea. And it wasn't until we stepped inside the mall and realized the 40 degree difference. So we'd go stand back in line, hot again, and be like, ah, we're going to go to the mall. And then at some point we had to stop because there was more people showing up and we were just bobbing in and out of the line. Yeah, you just kept leaving the line and cutting back in. You're like, well, we have to hold our position now. I remember thinking to myself, we have to stop or we're going to cause a problem because people yeah, are not you, happy that it, we're, we're doing this. We were about this. to lose our grip and you were going to go all the way to the back and I was going to be sitting there up there but like, I haven't yeah, been. I'm sucks. fucking not moving. <laughs> 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 That oh, fucking man. shirt. Remember that dude that was coming by and was like selling off like the ripoff shirts? Oh, and they were cheaper than the shit that came inside. <laughs> no, dude, straight up, that shirt has last. It's still you can still still see all the. It's fade. I'll say it's faded a bit, but mm -hmm. no more, no worse than like um. I guess the professional ones don't fade as much, but they kind of get like choppy. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But that one's faded a little bit, but you can still see all the details and like all the tour dates and shit Me, like yeah. that. On mine. And you I bought like, them? I, I made yeah, mention this Yeah, because I, I, I said fuck it, because I was like, how much is bucks. it? And he, he said 20 bucks for the shirt, and I was like, after Green Day, I, I know that a t-shirt will cost at least $60. Yeah, I'm going to take it. And the people next so, to us in line that were mesmerized with our stacking, like, dude, they're ripping you off. Why'd you even buy that? And I was like, you'll see. And like, yeah, fucking five years later, it's perfectly good shirt. You can still see all the details. Happened. I didn't tell the story to you, Brandon. But what happened with that shirt was, is I think Sadie bought one. And she let me hold on to it because she didn't want to hold on to it. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on or something. And then yeah. you know, after the show, I'll give it to you. I still have the shirt. She never had it. Yeah, because I was it. about – now that – I was about to say, I, we totally got two. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Yeah. It's in a box yeah, I because I don't want to wear it out. But <laughs> what Dude, happened was – Fucking 10 years from now, give her, to, give her that for Christmas or for her birthday or something. And she'll be like, what the fuck? And you'll be like, yeah, you bought that at Avenger, remember? And then I held on to it and you never asked for it. So I just found it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is yours. Anyways <laughs> – and then I, I was like, oh, cool. I'll buy an actual tour shirt. And I did. I bought the stage tour shirt that had the astronaut on it. I got a large, my size. I washed yeah. it once. Doesn't fit. I have wow. a photo. I have a photo of that me in that shirt. And it was in the back of your truck. And it was holding plank. So there's a photo of me <laughs> wearing that shirt, holding plank. <laughs> Fucking plank. <laughs> if I, if fucking I find plank. that photo, I'm going to send it to David and he can insert it to this point of the podcast because it is hilarious. Okay, so I'm gonna, I want to explain this to Colton. Colton, you you know Ed and Eddie, right? The yeah. cartoon? You know the guy Johnny and his best friend is just a piece of wood named Plank? Mm -hmm. Yes. For a couple years in high school, um, I forget what it was, me and Sadie and a few other people were over at Legends. And that upper part of Legends, where it, like it's just a little sitting area, one of the benches, the piece of wood, was just off, like completely off of the fucking bench and just sitting there. So I took it, 
And then later that night, I carved in the face of Plank, and it was sitting in my truck for two years, and it was one of our best friends. <laughs> like, I'd go to pick people great. up, and I'd have, I'd have Plank, like, strapped into the front seat, and be like, yeah, just climb mm -hmm. around him. No, don't pull the second <laughs> seat forward, you're gonna break his back, asshole, and, like, put, scoot the seat forward. Sorry, Plank. Yeah, we <laughs> drive the truck to Sacramento, it was after we got back to Sadie's, and then we switched cars, and then you had to drop me off, and I was like, oh, Plank! Yeah, bring in Plank! <laughs> And he was like that thing that didn't look like it at all, and then at one point we found a plank that looked exactly kind of like the actual plank, and then we drew the fucking <laughs> crayon like him on it, we had two planks. Yep. That's great. It, it was pretty spectacular. <laughs> plank and plank. Yep. Yeah, yeah plank. basically. If we had a third one, I would have made him plank him. Plank, plank, and plank. <laughs> plank, plank, and plank. Okay. Oh man. Okay. High funny. school was a long time ago. Holy shit. It's five yeah, years no, since we graduated. Fuck, we were in four years. Of, mm -hmm. It's been almost ten years since we started high school. Holy shit. I, uh. I graduated in 2006. So, yeah, that, that's what. I missed you, bro. 2006? You, bro. That's, that's not. That's only nine years at, before. I didn't realize we were so close to that. We were a decade apart in graduating then. Dude, Jerry, we were still like ten years apart. Oh no, sorry. You said 11. Six. 2006. That's 11. Yeah, that's 11. My bad. Oh, just over a decade. Still, that's not that long. But yeah, people still like Jared my Leto. brain always associated all my fucking cousins as like super goddamn older than me because I was the youngest on both sides of the family. So I, I was like, I'm just, I, I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the little, which is why everybody hates me. I'm the oldest. It's a thing. Nah, look at you. On both well, sides I'm, of your family, David. Yeah, out of or all of my family. family, I was the, I'm the oldest child. cousin. Yeah. Um. Yes, the middle child. No. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Me and Colton said it was Manita's son. Then. Middle child gang with uh. Half, Who's after half that? Siblings, right? Fuck! So. I don't even know. <laughs> what, I don't even what? know the order. On our side of the family, like in order of the cousins, it's Manita's son, who is the oldest. Like it was the first grandbaby. Cindy, Jaffa, Josh, Cleet, me. Uh. Then Ben, then me. Ben, we're the, you. Yeah, because we're the only other two. Huh. That's right. Yeah, because Manita had two. Patty had one. Ness and Donna have two. Your parents had you, and then, yes. A lot of fucking cousins on our side of the family. And then you go to Kansas, and it's like, holy shit, why the fuck is there so many family members out here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta put purpose. Put I was purpose. in, when, uh, our, when Grandma died, we went out to Kansas for her funeral, and the entire time we were out there, I just kept saying, like, holy shit, like, nobody's joking. Kansas is flat as fuck. But I remember one of the days we went with, uh, I forget who it was, one of mom's cousins. We went just went out to drive like in the back country of their area and shit. And they were like, Oh, you think Kansas is flat? Check all this out. And we would just go over like foothills and shit that are like just half the size of just like the basin around Reno. And they're like, See, Kansas isn't flat. See how fucking steep these fucking hills are. And right there, there's a creek that's been running for 200 years. And now it's a 10 foot <laughs> deep canyon that goes a foot across the ground. No, it's not fucking flat out here. And I was just sitting there going, See that horizon? The sun set two hours ago in Reno because of now, <laughs> but we still see the sun this time of year. <laughs> like, that is what I mean. It's flat. Normally when it would be dark in Reno because of mountains, the sun is still up in Kansas at that yeah. time of day because it is still trying to get to the fucking horizon. <laughs> it is flat out there, dude. <laughs> like Fucking flat. There's a there fucking quarter of a degree. nothing there. A quarter of a degree grade going downhill. To the east side of it miles. where, like, fucking Kansas City is and shit, like, and around that, but fucking, no. Before that, no. Kansas City is in Missouri, but I know, but fucking. There's, yeah. a, there's actually <laughs> points in Kansas where you can stand up high enough and see the curvature of the planet. Literally, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it is, like, if you've ever been to the ocean and you no, just look at like, the ocean and you can just see ships disappearing over the horizon, you can watch cars disappear over the horizon on a highway in Kansas. If they're going hmm. faster than you on the highway, even if it's just fucking straight. Because there is nothing there. <laughs> there is fucking nothing, dude. <laughs> like, it, there is a tree every fucking three miles or so. And I like maybe to apologize to our Kansas viewers. Brands of 
Old sensitive towards the top. No, I've, I just... I've been there once, and it's. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me defend myself real quick. When you drive for drive for forty eight hours with a schizophrenic person in the car, and then you get to the most boring place in the country, it fucking brains into your brain. <laughs> it brains into it. Brains into your brain. brain. Yeah, your I meant brain. to say grains into your brain, but I said brains into your brain, and that just shows sure how much of a mind fuck it is. So I think you meant to say engraves into your brain. It also doesn't help if you do any kind of road trip with a schizophrenic person. I do not Fair recommend enough. it. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, it doesn't. We drove back from don't Texas. Do it. My dog was shitting himself every hour, so that was fun. <laughs> That's better than getting in your car and your dog pukes and shits before you even fucking turn the car into reverse. Daisy. <laughs> nice. Daisy has such bad car anxiety. She's dude. gonna like call her out. Bitch. <laughs> I have to not feed her for a day and then take her out four times if I have to take her in a car because she's just. <laughs> she had to shit. I have to shit. I'm not shitting. I have to piss then. Leave me out of the car. I'm like, just fucking chill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even moved yet. Stop moved. shitting. It's not drunk. Don't. <laughs> no, that's funny. Anyway, um, Kansas is a great state. It was all. I had a great time out there. All I'm saying is that it's just like barren. it's beautiful and everything. But com compared to everything else, yeah, it is. And as much as Kansas people might say it's not flat, sorry, Kansas is flat. <laughs> like my comparison there. will always be Kansas. Kansas looking out like into the dirt is the same as looking out over the ocean. It's just as beautiful because I fucking love the earth. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to diss on Kansas and say that, but it's fucking flat and there's nothing there. Yeah, you you look out over the ocean, it's just water. When you're in Kansas, if you look out over the horizon, there's dirt. It's just as beautiful, but it's just as fucking... There's flat. nothing there. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can't see it. Just like my brain it's cavity. It's mesmerizing, dude. Like, honestly fucking weird to just look out in every direction and if it, everything were just I were in one of those fields randomly and I looked out in every direction I'd be fucked because <laughs> you don't know where to go you have to <laughs> go by the sun at that point right or you just Anyways. walk in one direction long enough and you'll end up in any other state that actually has topography <laughs> <laughs> hey I finally got my final GPA at the university because all my grades What'd have been put in I ended college with point two five. Very that's nice. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. That's actually that, that's fucking awesome. I that actually didn't pick it up. Did you repeat that? Misadventures and for the recording. Sorry. Oh, sure. Um, Do what? Um. I found out all my grades were inputted at the university, and I ended with three point two five GPA. Oh, good shit. And, and man, that's fucking awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah big <laughs> shout out to you reaction. for that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry that's about that. That includes I... all my yeah. misadventures in engineering. Nice. Yeah, like with with all those fucking bullshit classes that you were always talking about through the years. Like, holy shit, dude! Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure in high school I graduated with a 2.5 GPA. <laughs> so to graduate college with oh, above a three, like, good on you, dude. Brandon, check like, the group that, chat. That is very good. Check. I heard my yeah. phone beep. Let me check. Somebody uploaded that to Cabro's Instagram. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. David. You mean you just what? <laughs> Yeah, look, it's yeah, Plank. That's my truck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that is Red Rubber on the concert, dude. Yeah, and you're wearing is... the bracelet from the concert. Yeah. I still have that bracelet. It... That is the first and only time I've wore that shirt because it has like shrunk you way too much. Hell, that day. Or that was that a you long were just tired. Weekend, dude. That Monopoly I was tired. Game, that we just drove back game. to Sacramento. Oh my god! And then we fucking kicked <laughs> it all over the floor. Do you remember that? <laughs> So I can't remember who somebody jumped up on the TV and fucking went. <laughs> and I went I'm an ugly. Do you remember? You we, we got home from the concert and there was those people in front of us that we were walking behind wearing a bunch of seven full shirts and I was like, Hey, did you? Were you guys just at the concert? And they were like, Yeah. And I was like, Fuck it, yeah, we were today too. And they're like, Walked into their room, did say another word, and I was like, All right. <laughs> we just went upstairs to our room. Fuck you then. <laughs> Motherfuckers wanted nothing to do with me. I was like, "Oh, you see this show too?" They were like, "Yeah, yeah." Call that a show? Huh. I'm only uh, wearing the band shirt. Ah, uh, <laughs> show. You call that a show, peasant? Peasant? Are you not amused? A lot of honkies in here. <laughs> At an Avenged concert? Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah. That's pl- yeah, where that hotel was, the fuck, the sun went down that first night, and then you just saw how bad of a neighborhood it was, just looking out on the street. It was literally the moment remember, dark. You remember like, that? Yeah, the moment, the moment the sun the hit, sun it was down. almost it, people, it, yeah, the people fucking, shuffling around doing weird shit. Shooting videos at the gas station while a cop was sitting right there to it, and the cop yeah. was helping us because someone needed a band-aid or something like yeah. that. <laughs> it was fucking It was penalty. fucking weird. <laughs> And then we went inside and needed food. Wait. And then we went back to the hotel room and ate food, and then you deleted my Mario Party save. Yeah, that, that's the most prominent memory of that. So if we have, trip, I think yeah. we talked about this a few weeks ago, podcast, but Brandon yeah, deleted my Super Mario U saves, and it was in Sacramento, so. It was entirely my bad, and I fucking uh-huh. feel terrible about it today. But that, no, no words that I say can repair that. Because he showed me the save and was like, yeah, this is Super Mario World. Closed it. Went, yeah, delete one or, or delete two or three. And I thought, oh, delete two or three of the save? Sure. And I started with one. You know, the first one. And I saw yeah. him, like, mm-hmm. act as I went, as my thumb went down and pushed A. I saw him barely act. And then it happened. And he went, <laughs> yeah, would you like that? If you punched me in the face at that moment and, <laughs> like, gave me a black eye, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even have been mad. <laughs> You. <laughs> like, you would have been like, what the fuck was that for? Because I pushed the button and then I looked at you and I saw the look on your face and I went, I fucked up. <laughs> before, before I even knew what happened, I looked at you and I went, he's mad. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. He's mad. What do I do? Oh, my life. I, I was like, I don't know why he's mad, but I know he's mad. And you were, why'd you delete that one? And I went, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is more hey, Why'd you just... delete it? <laughs> Brandon! Yeah, Come on! Like... <laughs> Brandon! Shit. I felt Something so like bad that. about that. I was sitting there going, like, he's gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight, and I'm gonna, if I'm lucky, I'll wake up in the fucking river a mile away from here. Because he thought mm-hmm. he did the job, but then I was lucky enough to live. But... <laughs> <laughs> and if not, he wasn't trying to kill me. He was just teaching me a lesson. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's okay. It was warranted. Did you ever oh. get back for that? I feel like there was something that happened. And if not, I know that you're planning something enough. Yeah, yeah five years later, I'm still on it. <laughs> Brandon's got a... Yeah. Up. If any of you have seen How I Met Your Mother, like, with the fucking slap bit when it got to the last two, like, that's exactly how I feel as the years go by. I'm like, fuck, this doesn't come about. Usually shit comes about by right now. I know that you're playing something. I think we had a whole episode just married. about meeting the mother. Did we have an episode about how I met mother? Just about when the mother is met. We had a, a a bit about that, I think. Or something. Nice. You I don't think we did. I don't I might We not talked have about it briefly, yeah. That one. <laughs> no, that was you, dude. That was you that talked about it too. It's I, like once the mother is met the show though. goes to shit or something. Yes. We, oh, we that's, just, that. that's, just, that's just how I met your mother in general. The show is great, but like around that time, that's basically when the show starts to drop off. Yeah. And like, the drop off! The, the story's good still, but it's, does, it loses the same kind of like value that it had for the fucking eight seasons before it. So the that's the field trip that, for the drop off? Yeah, the ninth season of it is just rushed so bad. Oh, okay. Fair. That's all I have to say about that. that that's kind of what it is, but... And if you stops. once you watch the last episode, then you'll realize what I mean. Because it's like, oh, that get they're it. building up to. Why the fuck did they rush it so bad? That was a fucking two seasons worth of content that they could have pushed in with that amount of drama. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> if you never watched How I Met Your Mother, fucking hilarious, great show. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Amazing sure. show. Right now, I'm almost Reminds through oh, with this. Breaking Bad. Yo, before yeah. we get off the tangent. Um, okay. The one thing I do remember about Sacramento was that was the first instance that we were aware of Pickle Rick. Do you remember that, Brad? Yeah, that was when it fucking became popular. Like that was when it, that was when they that put was out when the, the promos were played for it. Yeah, yeah, they put it out the commercials for the new season and shit like that. And everyone was like, "Oh, I'm Pickle Rick!" Because it was a commercial where he's like, "Flip me over, Marty, I'm Pickle Rick," and then it like gave you the promo and shit like that. And- that it was. I thought it that was Saturday. Be a joke, but then that was actually a crucial plot point in that season. Um, so, <laughs> as it turned out, that was the last week for luck insanity set. You know, <laughs> mass riots. That that show caused a lot of, a lot of pandemonium. 
Yeah, it did. We'd have Szechuan sauce if it wasn't for Pickle Rick. Probably not. I remember the Szechuan sauce thing. Everyone just kept fucking blowing about it on the internet. And I was like, what the fuck is a Szechuan sauce? Like, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Until my someone said Szechuan, I was like, Szechuan in. Because I was like, what the That's not an English word. That has never existed in America. What the fuck is everyone blowing up about? Because I never saw it at McDonald's. I've never seen that Saskatoon sauce. <laughs> it's him, but you think. <laughs> That's the Bermuda Triangle sauce. <laughs> the Bermuda Triangle of hot sauces. Oh, fucking Burmy. Burmy. Uh, yeah. It's fucking... crazy yeah. that a TV show yeah. brought back a, a dipping sauce. Right? I pick a wee, and that and is just that gonna no live on forever. I mean, like because yeah. Like I said, I couldn't ever tell you a point in my life where I thought I need some Szechuan sauce, from McDonald's. Because when Szechuan sauce existed, if I looked at that word, I was like, "What's this word in German, Mom?" Like I would have thought <laughs> that it was not an English word. <laughs> huh. Probably not an English word, but. Just Szechuan? Pronounce Probably on a, not. If it's, if it's on a McDonald's menu, it has to be adopted in the Webster's Dictionary, right? Yeah. Like, on a McDonald's menu. Brandon, Szechuan sauce Quarter is pounder thing. has to be somewhere in the fucking McDonald's. Or, not the... <laughs> what, the yeah. dictionary? It's not that. In the Webster? I know the real thing. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I don't fucking... It was popular beforehand, and before it became popular, you have to pick a Brandon is right. absolutely flummoxed, okay? I'm <laughs> Szechuan <laughs> rocked his world. <laughs> You need I have legs. <laughs> I'm, it's more of the pronounce, like I said, the pronunciation of the word and how it's actually spelled. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that made that fucking sauce stick in my brain. So I've never tried it. And I've never had a recollection of it in my past. All I know is such a sketchy pizza sauce. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Saskatchewan <laughs> sauce. Not the sauce, yeah. but how you say it. Same shit. <laughs> Y'all have this. Next time you go to McDonald's. Do you have to go? Can I get a uh, twenty piece with others with some Saskatchewan sauce? Saskatchewan. And I guarantee, if the person, and if he is, me, if can't if get the person that sauce just... anymore, though, it was all a limited time again. Oh, yeah. They only make it. It's like the McRib. It wasn't even. No, it was like a limited sauce. edition Rick and Morty thing. They, they brought it. They brought it back one more time, and they were like, "It will never come back again." Period. And it didn't. You could probably still find it on eBay. Let me if I can find a listing on eBay. But it's probably a stupid price that nobody wants to pay. It's probably like two hundred and fifty dollars for one of the little fucking dipping sauce little things that they give you for free mm -hmm. at the store. Huh. I'm looking up Szechuan sauce, McDonald's, Rick and Morty. <laughs> Somebody's got a six pack going for a hundred and forty bucks eBay. Jesus. Wow. And then the one with the Rick and Morty printing, not nine hundred and fifty bucks. That makes sense with the Rick and Morty ones, but just an mm -hmm. ordinary pack of it that they brought back? Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's Fucking right. That's wow. Ridiculous. For a six pack of dipping sauce. Yeah, that's a bit Hey, would you spend your money on them this year? So, for tax returns, should we buy some Szechuan sauce? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's probably a write off oh, at this point. You have to do that to gain pop, to gain fucking clout for the goddamn podcast. And then once people are like, yo, I fucking sketch one sauce, we sell for a thousand dollars. you want a fucking deep impact. My favorite running joke. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, my favorite running joke is Brandon mispronouncing it every time. <laughs> I know. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Happy 2022 uh, no, 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 sketch ones. No one else here has watched Dragon Ball Z Bridge, right? It's only Oscar that has. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I won't make that joke. No one else will get it. Because <laughs> that's why I'm doing that. It, it's enough. influenced by something Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Well, that's good. And we're gonna get Oscar <laughs> this... in here. At right? some point, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he'll be involved. Oh, um, he's totally here right now. I'll still be up. I don't work uh, till five. <laughs> Actually What's your best Oscar impression, everybody? Tomorrow, but my manager said he was going to switch to somebody, so I didn't have a shift tomorrow. <laughs> no. I'm going to show up anyways at 5 or 5.30. I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm here. What's your guys' best Oscar impression to make it feel like he's here? Minecraft and axolotls. Um, give me a second. I got this. Star Wars. Give me a fucking minute. I, I can. Just give me a minute.
That's a pretty that's, that's a good one. Cyrus. Just imagine this is all I have to say for an Oscar impression. I think if you will, the uh <coughs> for for an Oscar impression. I have this perfect I have this note then. Oh, I'm just setting up. Yeah. Think if you will. The monster energy drink brand. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's up on my uh, on the TikTok page. Yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is too. The one when I was arguing with Caleb about the fucking PlayStation and shit. That and one. Like, and hey, do you can pass like, me son. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. Mm. God, Caleb was just out of it that night. I was like, bro, just yeah. stop and listen to me real quick. I'm just trying to explain it. And then I explained it. So he was like, oh, so you're saying this, this, plus this? Fuck you, no. Polydor, because he realized I was right. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not, you're, you're right with what you're saying, Caleb, but think about the math and look at what I'm saying and apply that. All I'm asking, he went, no, 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 no. it is bigger. Look at it, see, it's taller. <laughs> One plus one equals in. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying plus. to start an argument, but y equals negative b plus or minus square root. Three something, point something, something, one. something, something. Oh, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make my brain hurt. Me make my brain hurt. Listen, my school system might have not taught me how to fucking save money, to be a responsible adult, do taxes like that. But at least I know. I know Conjure is the powerhouse of the cell, and Y equals MX plus B. And you, you will know? respect it. Those those are the important things in life. Yeah, and I'll slam a Any whiteboard in my face until I forget it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on it. On it. And also, if you forgot from the Bill Nye videos, but inertia is a property of matter. Thank you, Barndor. Should Thank we you, just Renan end it on that? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill, and, Bill, and, Bill, and Bill, Bill. Everyone remember, inertia is a property of matter. Bill, Good night, kids. Bill, Not Bill, 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 Science rules. Science rules. Science rules. <laughs> okay, but that was the best shit ever. <laughs> that was, See that, that TV part rolling? Yep. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you guys like, we're saw... gonna watch a movie today because I'm too hungover or too sick to teach a class. I said we're gonna watch a fucking movie. You yeah. guys all been like, you guys ever watched Beekman's World? I don't <laughs> recall. That was the science show with the weird rat guy named Lester. I I have pictures of a weird rat person popping up in my brain, but not a, I don't think I've ever watched this show. Maybe just seen pictures and shit. Okay. Little weird rat people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you think a little weird rat person, and I think of the parents that decided to adopt a rat instead of an actual human being in Stuart Little. But we're not going to go onto a tangent about that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll save that as a, like a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> just sit here and argue about Stuart Little. You want a little bit of the brother son? Sure. Here's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> and he talked. You just you don't get picked on at school enough. Here you go. <laughs> Here's your talking <laughs> fucking rat brother. <laughs> you have to go around and tell all the students that this is your brother, okay? <laughs> and your brother will tell it too because he's a talking rat, but then he's just sitting there going like, my parents told me to tell you this is my brother, and the rat just goes... <laughs> and then the fucking they both get murdered because they live in New York. <laughs> Probably went to school in the Bronx. <laughs> Oh. Like, why did they why did they adopt that rat? Those rats bigger than their fucking son. Right? They could have went like, pick in New York. Yeah. In New Way York to make your city. already yeah. special kid, you know, get beat up. <laughs> oh, hey, special to me, okay? <laughs> they live in a house too that's like five times bigger than any two bedroom house in Reno, and they were like, "Yeah, we don't have enough rats and mice Wait. living here. Enough living in New York. Let's just get one as our own, as a pet." It'll be perfect. I uh, sorry, as a son, it'll be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that was honestly those parents thinking. They were just like, wait, we're at an orphanage and the rat here? We'll just get the That's bitch so a pet. That's so sad. Yeah. He, he'll think <laughs> that he's just a pet rat. And he just goes, it talks? He's clearly my brother. You know, and I hate it. And, they go, and, and yeah. then they, they just go, we can't bring back the deposit of a fucking rat kid. 
What? <laughs> no one no, ever took this you're, case. <laughs> you're gonna bring the rat back, and the fucking orphanage is gonna go. What? A rat? Are you insane? They're trying to bring a rat into our <laughs> call the cops. <laughs> yeah, call the cops. We didn't do that. We didn't. You guys are insane. Why'd you put shoes on that thing? That's animal cruelty, yo. Yeah. What? The heck? <laughs> that scene where they put Stuart on the fucking boat and he almost dies. Like, oh, we're just trying to save him. Good job, Stuart. It's like. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Rat problem. Yeah, can you blame the I'm kid for trying issue. to sink his boat? The 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 <laughs> rudder cable got stuck or broken or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, a boat oh. going two miles an hour, but the story he's just oh shit oh fuck oh shit no, no, no. mama. <laughs> <laughs> We keep calling him a rat, but he absolutely is a mouse. But yeah, still, he's a mouse. You know, no, he's a he's a fucking rat. He lives in New York. There's no mice in New York. There's only rats there. <laughs> I've never been past Kansas, but that's what I imagine it might be like. <laughs> I've been to Texas. I know. I've been I've been really close to New York. That's the. You seen armadillo? No. You didn't go to Texas. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. Never happened. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I... Sorry, guys. <laughs> I shot guns. That's 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 Texas. Yeah. You didn't shoot the guns at the armadillos. I went to a Wait, cracker barrel. That's pretty close. Done. Okay. That's fair you, yeah, you went to Texas. You you <laughs> went past a certain point in the east side of the country. You went to a cracker barrel. <laughs> it was rumored that we were gonna get one at some point. I don't know if that we ever are. happened. I remember yeah? that. Yeah. I oh, think... I don't know if y'all know fucking knew this, but there's a goddamn third in and out opening in Reno. And you already talked about right last that. episode. <laughs> right that... Yeah, because I'm so fucking excited about it, dude. It's opening right there on Keystone. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So, Brandon, the rumor is, is that's where the Cracker Barrel is going. They're gonna put a Cracker Barrel there, too? Yeah, dude, I'm that parking lot is impossible. I don't know it as much, but I'd, I'd be down to go start Cracker Barrel if they're gonna open it right there next to in and out That'd be a crack. Park, Stick yeah. cracker bread for four hours, waiting for your table, eat your food, go, damn, I'm still hungry, get some lunch at in and out yeah. yeah Sounds I'm good. Barrel. Cracker barrel, barely newer barrel. <laughs> the, that corner is only missing a Cane's and a Chick-fil-A, or a nice Chick-fil-A, and it'll be perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> good stuff. Um, oh. Anybody that likes uh, Epic Games Store, they're having a promotion where... A game called Control is free for today. It's a pretty cool looking game, but I haven't mm -hmm. checked it out actually. My, but... my only question is to you with about that is because you said Epic Game Store. Did you happen to learn about that because you were on Fortnite? Yes. At some point soon? Yeah, I even Thought, put it okay. in the I recording. Just, I, was just, I was just checking. I, I even just put it sure. in the recording. I was just making Speaking sure. Speaking of, of Fortnite, I'm stop playing it right now. <laughs> yeah, stop playing it right me. now. Like, like, I, I, I stop slut shaming me. No, I'm not. I'm not. <gasps> what, I'm say, what I'm saying is, like, y'all can fucking play it and shit. I really don't care. Like, it's a game. <laughs> it's probably really good. But just because it's of the not. reputation, just because of the <laughs> reputation we built over it for the last five years, I refuse to play it, and I will not play it. That's fair. I'm enough. not going to. We have spent five years building such a bad name for this game. I am not going to break this now. <laughs> oh, it's it's ridiculous uh, so what, and terrible, least, but it's still it, fun. I, I understand that, but I have to be the one person left that doesn't break the boundary of actually playing it. Because what are we left than just fucking selfless apes that just fall to the media uh, at that point? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, I'm joking. I'm just making jokes. Uh, <laughs> I, I've, I've been like, great right. play for fucking like years. I've never played Fortnite after the one time I played it. Lucky. <laughs> I was making jokes. <laughs> no, good stuff. I mean, I don't know. I'd check out Control. Just to see. It seems like some kind of first person shooter. But, yeah. Control? Control, yeah. Have you never played Control? I have not. No. Ooh. And while you're at it, remedy. go ahead and install Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give all of your dignity Epic away. Epic the Gears franchise to give all your money to the Epic Game Studios. Yeah. One yeah. of us. Because they're handing us. out... Hey, Gears 3 is goaded. Gift cards. Gears 3? Oh, yeah. Gears, Gears 3? Yeah, that game is a goat. Well, we, will, we will never disrespect Gears 3 in this, uh, this podcast. 
in the years between like, 2005 and 2015, it. all games that came out that were the um, third game in the franchise, they tended to guys. be fucking... Wait. Dom, Dom. <laughs> I spoil Iron Man and Dom's what sets him over the edge. <laughs> Do you remember? I would just make jokes about it when we were playing with like Kaden White. I would go, oh, Dom's about to die in the scene. Everyone shut the fuck up. Be quiet. Don't talk. And if they did, I'd be like, go on. <laughs> Oh, the dog's dying! <laughs> Don't interrupt, Dom, I'm dying! Come on, some respect! Dom! No! Do, 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 Familiar hate. The fact that it plays fucking Mad World in that scene, that, that's honestly what made it such a great scene for a Gears fan, and then looking back on it as a Gears fan and not a Gears fan, it's just a memeable scene. Like, I, I, I still believe Ty's death in the second one is more tragic. Dude, when fucking um um, what's what's the name that starts with a C? Carmine. Car Carmine. Yeah, fucking what, Carmine's death in Gears Two. Holy fuck! That guy, that kid died in a way that he didn't need to die. Yeah, he died that was so still much so more tragically than Dom. He died yeah. so much more compared to like most people in the Gears franchise. He fucking had a terrible death. That was yeah. fucking horrific. Like, <laughs> I think the overall ending of three is like it was try. It, it set itself up to be a heart wrencher with Dom and Marcus's father passing away and shit like that. But two was way more, way more serious two, in that aspect. Yeah, two had more of like the fucking brutality of war, and then three was the brutality of you have to let go of something to get the goal that you kind of want. But two was just, oh, you're at war. Yeah. You're gonna you watch will lose an innocent it. person die. Watch his his intestines are getting eaten right now. We're it feels like you on it. Yeah, I was gonna say it <laughs> feels like you've lost your humanity. It's terrible. On it, gears two, honestly, yeah, it's fucking brutal. And, and like it. when you have to think about how much that fucking emulsion was worth, and you can't even fucking count that high. Like, <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> god. <laughs> you have to come to grips that you cannot count that high. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> The fucking level. <laughs> I don't think I can have that high. I've heard that about a million fucking times. Yep. Uh, me and Brandon did a playthrough of the first Gears, and we got stuck at a checkpoint where uh, Marcus and Dom were having a conversation about emulsion. Yeah, they're like down in the emulsion mines, and it's just fucking... Or not the emulsion mines, but just in a cavern where the fucking locusts live, and just emulsion everywhere, and they're like... How much do you think all that emulsion's worth? Marcus says, I don't know, man. I can't count that high. We heard about 200 times in about a two-hour fucking time period. <laughs> yeah, and we got stuck on that checkpoint. <laughs> there is no way I could ever force that memory out of my brain, even if I get Alzheimer's. I, if I get Alzheimer's <laughs> when I'm 80 and I'm sitting there in bed, and you guys hear me go, I don't think I, don't I, think I can, can count, count that, that high. <laughs> I am just doing a lucid dream in my brain and pull the plug. <laughs> it's like, the perfect time to die if I just sitting there just brain dead. Going, I don't think I can count that high. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. What a way to about. go. <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> living nightmare getting trapped in my own brain and thinking I can't count that high. <laughs> Forgetting that's, the context. That's my personal hell is just going through that checkpoint over and over in here. Oh, Henrietta. I can count that I don't high. think I can count that high. <laughs> we walk up like to everyone the has... door and he's everyone just sitting there. That... Sorry. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go. <laughs> well, no, I was just going to say we walk up to you in your home and... You just biting your lip. I can't count that high. I can't <laughs> count that high. I can't, I can't count that high. Dom, this emotion is priceless. You Your brother walks in. Wrist. Hey, hey, it's me, Ben. <laughs> oh, Carmine, no! <laughs> <laughs> Start fucking Shoot biting him. him and trying to eat him. Not that point, you guys. Are. We have to put him down, guys. <laughs> He's not oh, human shit. anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> he walks in, you shoot him, you're like, Carmine, no! <laughs> you say put Brandon down like we're going to take him to the vet and put him in the doggy fryer. <laughs> Jesus. When the dog's too fucking angsty, so you can't put him down with an injection, so you fuck him in a fucking oven. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hitler? Brandy. You were the one that said cook him or something like that. Yeah, and I said in the doggy fryer, and then you turned. Yeah, he said doggy fryer. What the fuck's a doggy fryer? <laughs> that was supposed to be my brain, Donald. <laughs> Who fries a doggy? Wait. If you're not in Have you never used our country. Or had you pet euthanized? What? 
Oh, the only time that my pets have ever died they is when they don't put ran them in a were... fryer. No, here's my personal okay, story. But, I have know, never, I have never, and, I've never had to put down a pet. Baked. I've only watched them get run over in front of me or they <laughs> ran away, and I never saw nice. them again. Yeah, my so... dogs had. <laughs> my first memory of having dogs as a kid was both of them got parvo. That was oh, that was that great. Sucks. So that that's sucks. terrible. Yeah, so one of them just woke up. I was like, "Yeah, hi, dog. Oh, it's dead, mom." Wow. And then the other one had parvo, so we had to put it down. So that was great. Yeah, par well, if you're ever gonna get a puppy and you're buying a puppy when they're very young, or just you have a puppy when they're fucking babies, you go and get those bitches parvo shots. That is something yeah. you have to do. For if you a dog. can't afford it, don't get the dog. Yeah, no kidding. If you if and if you have the dog for whatever reason and can't afford a parvo shot, you make sure you're taking them out of the spot where there is no other like dog shit around. Like just. Take them in the car, go to a spot where there's not fucking dog shit, because that's how they fucking transmit is through other shit. Well, no, Parvo's mm -hmm. transmitted via numerous different ways. But it's, the, the most it's common highly way. Highly contagious. The, the yeah. most common way is that a dog will that has Parvo will take a poop, and then some, another dog at a dog park will smell it, and then that dog will have Parvo then too, and it spreads the most, the most like that. But yeah, it does spread. Even like, from coyotes and stuff, yeah. though, that's why yep. it's so dangerous. Yeah, it's Parvo's crazy. In, in canines, it's a bad disease for canines yeah don't let don't let your animals get parvo always get their first one and always get at least one booster shot after they've already been vaccinated like always for dogs mm -hmm. fuck, fuck, fuck it and even after that every year if not every other year when you can fucking afford it make sure your dogs are getting some booster for parvos i'm sitting here talking about it and daisy keeps looking at me like you're not taking me to the fat now, i right? i think they, they only <laughs> have yet. to get a certain number of boosters for it i i, th I, th I think it's two Oops. to i think it's two to three and then after that it's like every eight years or so to just to give a booster on it but it's not required they should be typically immune at that point yeah Dogs only live a decade, at most a decade and a half, to two decades, so, yeah. Uh, the average life of a dog is like 15 to 16 years. Yeah, like bet between one and two decades, yeah. Dogs can live a bit, little bit of time. Small dogs Compared to us. usually have a small, shorter life. Small day. dogs die faster, yeah. Not necessarily small dogs, but especially like fucking, uh, 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 what are they called? Pugs and shit like that that has just been fucking modified by humans so much that they're just abominations. I'm sorry, but pugs? Hmm. God. If you are a species and you are breathing and you sound like... <laughs> just to breathe? I'm sorry, but you have a limited time on this earth and you're probably going to be gone within a century. Yeah. Like, I've seen pictures of, like, the dogs that pugs were bred off of before they had this short nose, and they just basically look like a smaller boxer, kind of. But humans, for whatever fucking reason, decided, oh, this dog doesn't need a nose. <laughs> Put a snotty Silly nose poker. on that dog? <laughs> yeah, like, just fucking shove that nose back to your eyeballs. It's not like dogs only have use their ears and nose to fucking sense more than their eyes. Yeah. We're smart. Yeah, dog, dogs' eyes are... Dogs fucking suck at seeing. <laughs> they base everything on fucking hearing and smelling. And then once they see something that aligns with their hear and smell, then they're like, oh, that has to be it because I hear and smell it while I'm looking at it. But if they're only looking at something and they don't know what it is, they go, is that fucking blue? Wait, no, no that has to be yellow. Is that blue? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, fucking pea brains. Mm -hmm. Daisy, you, I, we started talking about dogs. Now you're just over here. You're a bitch. You're very smart, but you're stupid. I'm sorry. Well, we Just made it a little spread. over an hour if you guys want to wrap up. Yeah, whenever y'all are ready. Pretty yeah, great. I'm good. For sure. Well, you guys know where to find us. Uh, Cobros PC on, the on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. The talk. And uh, keep an eye on the profile for more content coming in throughout the fu near future. And yeah, yeah. keep an eye on the Patreon as well if you guys want to support us a little oh, on so. the extra side. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye. Goodbye, bye -bye. audience. Love all of you. Beat of the week. <laughs>